Every Friday, Guts Church does their part to help out the community, giving out groceries, toys, and clothing. It's kind of a distribution center that just helps people in need. Just make it easier for you to carry out. I'll put your shoes in here, man. It's not just locals they want to help. They're also planning recovery efforts for tornado victims in other states. Guts has already sent more than $10,000 to three churches in North Carolina, Alabama, and Arkansas. They say it was the fastest way they could start helping. We wired the money, and the next thing you know, I mean, people were getting water, and people were getting milk, and meals were being cooked, and people were getting help. There's all, all kinds of canned goods, uh, uh, corn, and, and beans. The church is also gathering food. A pallet of emergency meals, rice, and drinks lay on the floor of their warehouse. In addition, the church is getting ready to send a group of volunteers. Chano Trevino says he wants to go. Give the opportunity to just people when they go through something tragic like that, they go through something. It's just nice for people to come who have the ability to come help. Guts is planning to send volunteers early next week. There are other local organizations that have already done this, like the Red Cross. Volunteers have been leaving over the last couple days. We give them water and food, snacks. Um, and with the donations everybody gives us, we buy more to give them some more food and snacks. And Back at Guts, Shear says the church tries to respond to disasters whenever it can and hopes others do the same. He says those who don't think they can make a difference need to think again. We can't help everybody, but just like this today that you're witnessing, we can help somebody.